Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is the second Sunday of Advent, and we're going to be talking about John the Baptist, baptized with the Spirit. We're going to open with a prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, you want the whole world to welcome Jesus and be joyful at his arrival. Help us to prepare for his coming. Help us to know how to change our lives for the better. We open our hearts and our ears to your word, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So our gospel is from Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. The gospel according to Mark. Praise, glory to you. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way, a voice of one crying out in the desert. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all of the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey, and this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. I think it is always exciting to start a new book. I like to look at the book and the cover and the picture if there's one on the front and think about what the story will be about. about. I like to read the first few pages and get to introduce to some of the characters and I like to think about the story and if it's happy or sad or maybe a mystery or um, you know what it'll be like. I sometimes think about you know if I'd like to be the characters in the book, maybe more like them if they're interesting or unusual or brave. Today's gospel is the very beginning of the book of Mark. And you'll remember this about the Bible. I know we've talked about it before. It might be a refresher for some of you. Um, so I have a Bible. And you'll remember the very, all the front part of the Bible is the Old Testament before Jesus. And then when you get to the New Testament, that's all the part that's after Jesus, the New Testament, the Bible's in two parts, and it starts with the Gospels, and you'll remember the Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, so right away, the first book of the New Testament is Matthew, and then we have Mark, and I tabbed these, there's Luke, and then there's the Gospel of John, and then the other books of the New Testament. So today's reading is the very, very beginning of the book of um, Mark, St. Mark the Evangelist. He tells us in the very first sentence, it's kind of written like a title. You can see here at the very beginning when he writes this, it's almost like the title of his book. The beginning of it and with the very first sentence he says what is probably the most important part of his whole story and he tells us that the story is about Jesus Christ and then he tells us that Jesus is the Son of God right there in the very first sentence Mark fills his gospel with many things about Jesus's life that will help us believe in Jesus and to help us to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And then in the very next line, Jesus introduces us to another character in the story, and that's John the Baptist. So close your eyes for a minute. Imagine, as I'm describing to you, John the Baptism, Baptist is in the middle of a great desert near the Jordan River. He is wearing the skin of a camel and he has a leather belt around his waist. Not a belt with a shiny buckle, 
his belt was probably made from the skin of an animal, and he ate only the food he found in the desert, locusts and wild honey. He shouts that we all need to repent and ask for forgiveness of our sins. He says he is just a herald to the more powerful one coming after him. Now open your eyes. All right, so that was a very vivid description of John the Baptist. So I imagine you were pretty much able to imagine this kind of man who lives out in the desert. Probably his hair is pretty wild. And I don't know if you've ever touched a camel, maybe at a, a fair or something. Their hair is not soft. It's very coarse. And so um, it's kind of amazing to think that this this man wearing this camel skin um, out in the middle of the desert has such an important role in the story of our faith. He is Jesus's cousin. You'll remember when Mary was pregnant with Jesus, she went to visit his mother, Elizabeth. So um, John's parents are Zachariah and Elizabeth. And John is the one who tells the people to get ready to meet the Messiah, our Savior. He called for the people to be sorry for their things that they had done wrong and to try to live better lives. People wanted to give a sign to others that they were willing to do this, that they were willing to change and become better people and that they were serious about changing. And so John's baptism, that he was baptizing people right there in the Jordan River, just have you ever been to a river or a lake? You know, it's just um, dirt at the bottom. <laughs> Imagine that, not like a swimming pool and not like our beautiful baptismal font that we have here. Um, John invited them to go into the waters of the Jordan River and there he baptized them right there in the river. And these people were serious about their change and although it was very different than the way we're baptized, the sign that we're making when we're being baptized is the same that we want to be children of God. And John knew that he was doing something very, very important, but he also knew that he was only preparing the way for someone much greater than himself. He was preparing the way for Jesus Christ. And right now it's Advent. And Advent is a time before Christmas when we're getting ready um, for to celebrate the birth of Jesus. It's a time also of preparation of um, getting our hearts ready and that's why we're reminded today in John the Baptist's words of getting our hearts ready is so important today. Everyone has something that he or she is sorry for and wants to change. So I want us all to take a minute right now and think about something we need to change and we want to work on that during Advent and this is one way that we can prepare our hearts for Jesus.